Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be finally sharing with you all my top 10 nude lipsticks for the year 2022. So the first lipstick that I have here is the e.l.f. liquid matte lipstick in the shade Coffee and it is probably one of my favorite shades. It is a perfect chocolate brown color and I'm in love with this shade. It's like staple in my makeup bag. It has this very creamy texture which dries down to a comfortable matte finish and the best part is it looks very smooth on your lips. Like it does doesn't settle into your lip cracks and talking about the longevity it can easily last up to six hours and the pigmentation is also amazing and it will be a perfect nude for deeper complexions next lipstick that i have here is from our good old miss claire and it is their matte power lip color in the shade 06 now this is like a warm brown peachy nude and it looks very beautiful talking about the formulation this lipstick has this um moussey sort of a texture which dries down to a matte finish and the color payoff is also very very good and of course it is a transfer proof lipstick and it is very long lasting but the only thing which i personally feel like is not so good about this lipstick is that it can feel a little drying towards the end of the day but if you are someone who is used to wearing liquid lipsticks you will barely feel it and you can always use a lip balm before and also it's a very beautiful shade but i feel it will personally look best on medium to dusky skin tones and um, even fair skin tones for that matter next up i have another shade which is from the same range and it is called 02 same formulation same longevity same color payoff but the only difference is the color this is like a pinkish brown nude and that one was like a warm orangey brown nude and this shade i think would look best on people with medium to dusky skin tones if you are someone who prefers to have hints of pink in their everyday nude i feel like this shade will be perfect for you the next lipstick that i have here is little bit on the steeper side it's the k beauty's mad drama lipstick in the shade cameo and let me tell you this is my go-to lipstick on the days when i don't feel like putting on makeup i just apply this lipstick and it brightens up my whole face like this is my favorite shade and personally i feel like this shade will look best on light medium to dusky skin tones and talking about the lipstick itself it is very comfortable to wear and you will get that one swipe pigmentation but it is not transfer proof which honestly is okay to me you can easily reapply this lipstick and it won't look cakey and frankly i don't have anything bad to say about this lipstick i feel like the only drawback is that it is a little expensive then i have two liquid lipsticks from nika the first one is from from Nykaa's all day matte range and it is in the shade super mom now this one is like a warm orangey brown nude shade and the pigmentation of this lipstick is really nice it does really give you that one swipe pigmentation and this lipstick definitely is very long lasting and it is definitely transfer proof and it does dry down to a complete matte finish but one thing that can be a drawback is that it is a little drying which makes it a little uncomfortable Having said that, I want to say it is not one of those extremely drying lipsticks but I have seen more comfortable formulations by now. Also, this shade in particular will suit fair to medium skin tones. Talking about better formulations, the next lipstick that I have here is from the Nykaa's Matte to Last Liquid Lipstick range and it is in the shade Chumki. Now this shade is a very beautiful mauve nude shade which will look good on people with fair to medium skin tones, rather dusky skin tones as well and uh, the formulation is much more comfortable compared to the previous one but the pigmentation of this lipstick is not as strong as the all day matte range but I love this lipstick only for this shade because it's such a unique nude shade and looks very beautiful and also this lipstick dries down to a powder matte finish which I love, I love powder matte finish finish and uh, the staying power of this lipstick is three to four hours honestly it's not that long lasting but i just love how it looks on my lips next up i have the k beauty's lip crayon in the shade rumor so k beauty lip crayons are probably one of my favorite lip crayons because of the fact that how beautifully matte they are like a lot of lip crayons you would see are very comfortable on your lips but they do have a little bit of shine to them but these babies are matte and they are super lightweight and frankly not that drying but if you have dry lips of course apply some lip balm and these lipsticks are almost transfer proof like they transfer a little bit as soon as you apply them but once they settle they don't transfer 
and I love this shade. This is such a unique, cool tone brown nude with hints of mauve, which is so, so and beautiful. I have almost finished it, which is such a huge deal because I have way too many nude lipsticks. So if I am finishing a nude lipstick, it has to be the best. And also, uh, I feel like this shade will look good on most of the Indian skin tones. But if you want to use it as a nude lipstick, this shade will look best on medium to dusky skin tones. And the last three lipsticks that I have here are from NYX. So the first one is this NYX Powerpuff Lippy Cream in the shade Cool Intentions. Now I will have to accept that I again love this lipstick for its shade. It's such a beautiful cool tone nude. And the formula is again really smooth, spreads like butter. And this one has this soft cushion applicator which at first looks really interesting to try. But I soon realized that it's not so precise so you might need a brush or something to line your lips and also getting the product out of the tube was a little annoying because i had no idea how much to dispense uh, formulation wise this one is a lot different than the nyx smlc's because this lippy doesn't dry down to a powdery matte finish like the smlc's do and again this is not transfer proof so basically i just love this lipstick for its shade since we were talking about SMLCs, I do have one for you. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Rome. And I love this lipstick with my no makeup makeup looks because it looks just like my lips. And uh, it has a smoothy texture, which frankly takes a while to dry down. Like I think it takes about five minutes to completely dry down and it dries down to a powdery matte finish. And uh, it doesn't feel like that thick layer of matteness on your lips, like a lot of other matte lipsticks do. And it also does and flake like a lot of other matte lipsticks i think the problem here is the pigmentation and longevity like the pigmentation is not that great you'll have to apply two layers to get proper coverage and it will fade off every time you eat or you know it will fade off in just two to three hours so it's not that long lasting as well but it looks very beautiful it makes your lips look airbrushed and the last lipstick that i have here is a little different i was so unsure if i should show this lipstick to you guys but i have been using it quite a lot so i have to show it to you so i don't know if it falls under the nude lipstick category this is the shade embellishment from nyx laundry push-up range and uh, it is a really unique purple mauve nude and i just love wearing this shade it looks absolutely unique but again it is you know very personal if you know you consider this kind of shade under the nude lipstick category but i love it and the formulation also is really great like it's a very creamy bullet lipstick which dries down to an insanely comfortable matte finish and it's almost smudge proof you could say and it literally feels like you have nothing on your lips and uh, it also smells pepperminty upon application and it does have a tingling plumping effect and it's very pigmented so i do not have anything bad to say about it it's just that the shade is little personal so i don't know how many people will like it but i love it so yeah that's about it for today's video guys i really hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful if you did then please don't forget to hit the like button and also please subscribe to my channel it would mean so much to me and also take good care of yourself wherever you are and i'll see you in my next video bye